One of the coolest features of Batocera is that it allows you to play your favorite console games with all sorts of eye candy and borders. For example, you can play this classic Mario game like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or with this console replica. Or even in full widescreen if you like. Fortunately, there's also another decoration method called bezels. These bezels allow you to play your favorite console games using unique and customized borders. The results look absolutely impressive and stunning. Consequently, in this tutorial I will show you how to download and install console bezels from the Bezel Project. Soon, your favorite games will receive an amazing makeover. Are you ready? Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Batocera Nation. I'm so delighted to have you here today. So today we're going to talk about the Bezel Project. And it turns out that the Bezel Project began back in 2018 and a number of people have been contributing to the Bezel Project. And their goal is to create a Bezel for every game from every system within RetroPie. So they've got a big task on their hands, but so far they've done an amazing job. And I'm really grateful uh, to the people who are supporting this project and creating all these different images. And fortunately for us, we don't have to download anything at all. Everything is done within Batocera. The Batocera team has made it really easy for us to do this. Uh, there's also a discussion on the wiki page for Batocera uh, about these vessels. In fact, uh, there's even a the discussion how you can create your own vessels as well. Uh, so if you want to take a look at that, I will be providing a link in my video description. All right, let's go ahead and load up Batocera and let's get ready to download and install some awesome bezels for our favorite consoles. So we're back in Batocera and let's go ahead and first thing we need to do is to download the actual bezels. So press start on your gamepad and then go down to updates and downloads and go into the bezel project. From here you will see all the bezels for the different consoles you already have in your Batocera system. So for this example let's go ahead and do a Nintendo 64. Install and let it download. You can download several bezels at the same time as well. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section. All right, so we are done. You can see that the Mega Drive and the Nintendo 64 have a check mark. Okay, sometimes you don't see it right off the bat. If you get out of it, go back in there, then you will see that check mark. Okay, all right, so let's try things out. Just go to the Nintendo 64, go ahead and select it, and from here, go ahead and press the back button or the select button on your gamepad. Now, pull up this menu, go into advanced system options. Now the next thing we need to do is look for the option that says decoration. You can see there, here, there's no decorations, right? So not all emulators will have that option. This one is mostly focused on high resolution textures, okay? So you got to look for one that does. In this case, this one does. All right, so you can see there, there's the decoration option. And from there you can choose uh, these TV background screens. Let's just give an example right here. And it will look like that. Okay. Or you can also pick the console image for decoration. Down here. Default, that's the console image. It'll look like this. Okay. 
Looks nice. But now we want the bezels. So let's get out of there. Go back into Advanced System Options. Go into Decorations. And here at the bottom, there's the bezel project. It's that simple. Now watch this. Look at that, huh? I like how that looks. Let's check out some more. All right, so you can see there, they look absolutely gorgeous, and it's customized for each individual game. Again, the process to select them is quite easy. Just download them, and then select and decoration the bezel project. It's that simple. It's awesome. Now, let's say, for example, that you know, you've know you got uh, this game right here, and you've, and you've got high-resolution texture version of this game that you'd rather play instead of the bezels. But on the other games, you know, you really like the bezels. You want to keep those bezels. So what you do is you have to go ahead and press the A button. Hold it down for a few seconds. That'll bring up the context menu. Go into Advanced Game Options. Uh, and for this one, again, you want the high resolution texture. So you go ahead and select that. Uh, and from there, make sure, you know, you can you know, do that and do that. And make sure that this is on. Okay. So when you load this game, I'll load up the high resolution texture version. It's me, Mario. Okay, so again, you have an option how you want to play these games with the bezels, with the decorations, or high resolution textures. It's up to you. Let's go ahead and check out the Sega Genesis version. Now then, this game right here, because it's a hack, it's not going to have a bezel. Watch. So again, any hack game, any fan game, it's not going to have a bezel, right? Let's try this one right here. Okay, so this one does not have a bezel. Okay, something is wrong. Let's go and investigate it. I noticed that the title there, after it's been scraped, has an apostrophe 91. So let's check it out. So go ahead and hit Escape and F1. And let's go into the game folder. Let's go into Mega Drive. And let's look for it. Right there. So there's no apostrophe right there. So let's go ahead and add it in there. And let's see if that fixes it. All right. Let's go ahead and close it up. Okay, go ahead and press start. Go into game settings. Update games list. Let's go back. Okay, now you notice that it hasn't been scraped because I changed the title of it. So to scrape that one individually, go ahead and press A. Go into scrape. And that's the one we want. All right, so it's been scraped. Let's test that out. 
And you see there, it worked. So again, the naming convention is really important. Otherwise, you will not get a bezel for that particular game. So make sure they're named properly. Otherwise, again, it won't work. All right, let's look at some Super Nintendo bezels as well. All right, so let's go ahead and check out a couple of Dreamcast games as well. Well, that should give you a brief demonstration of what the bezel project is all about. As you can see, these bezels provide some wonderful eye candy for your favorite console games. Not to mention, they look absolutely amazing. The best part is that the Bottasetta team has made the process easy for you to download and install. So therefore, go ahead and enjoy them. Now, you see this game right here? Well. It turns out that I recently discovered this awesome game, and the good news is that it's absolutely free and legal. As a matter of fact, some Batacetta fans may not realize that we have access to well over 40 free games for Batacetta, and many of them are fan console games. Therefore, that will be my next tutorial and video for Batacetta Nation. That's a wrap, and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, Please like this video since that would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time watching our channel, please check out our website aboutthesetanation.com since that will give you a great overview of what Batacetta is all about. Then come back to the channel and consider subscribing and joining the nation at Nation, since we have a lot more coming soon. Once again, thank you for your time and I'll see you next time on Batacetta Nation. Bye.